During the historic 1960 presidential campaign, then Senator John F. Kennedy told the Saturday Review, if this nation is to be wise as well as strong, if we are to achieve our destiny, then we need more new ideas for more wise men reading more good books in more public libraries. These libraries should be open to all. Today, the Blackstone Public Library can truly be said to be open to all because it now has the modern, state-of-the-art, and spacious facilities to serve this community. It's Jim just defined is Mary Lou Rancho, and she's our hero. She's the backbone of this project. She had this vision many, many, many years ago before I ever even lived in Blackstone. And it is my honor and my privilege to call her friend, boss, and all around good person. Please welcome Mary Lou Rancho. She was the catalyst of this. Um, you know, she thought about this whole project, kind of looked at, you know, and you know, she kind of kept an eye on everything, made sure all the I's were dotted, the T's were crossed, you know, to get it where you know, start to finish. And you know, people don't realize the amount of time that she dedicated to this building to make sure that this building was functional and it is what it is today. I did go to high school here. I started in. I figured it out. It's 1962 in the eighth grade and graduated in 1967. And we had our um, graduation at the old town hall. A was obviously finding a location. And then second of all is putting it where the whole, the old high school was, because there's a lot of memory in, in this particular piece of land. I did come, the women's volleyball league played here at night when it was a school. Oh. Volleyball league was a bunch of moms getting out. Sometimes we had kids with us that played on the bleachers, sometimes we didn't. Kathy Killian, who's still in town, she headed it up and we had a lot of fun. Oh, there, were, there, were, there were some people that were more upset with, with, with the Board of Selectmen uh, because they were, we were tearing down the old high school. A lot of memories there, but it, it served its purpose when it did. As a kid, it was like riddled with, you'd go up the hallways, there was asbestos wrapped on the pipes, there was a asbestos you cut through the boiler room to go to the gym, and so um, it was an old building, so a lot of good memories, and I went to fourth and fifth grade uh, on this property in the building that was here previously. So uh, yeah, so a lot of history in this little spot. I remember going to the old library that was in the town hall, and it, it was a very small area. It was just books and a few tables and chairs and one librarian that, that worked and no one else. As I reflect back, um, I grew up in Blackstone, and I used to go to the library at the town hall in the basement. And it was a place of happiness for me. I would be there for long periods of time just pulling books off the shelves, which I'm sure the librarians weren't thrilled about because I didn't put them back. Um, <laughs> but it was a great place to be, and I have very fond memories of it. And I hope that children of future generations also have the same feeling when they look back at the library. So. Mary Lou, Branch out and, and her people from the library, they, they met with Norman Bridger and all that and decided that this was a good site. But we had to tear down the old high school, which I, I thought, it, I'm just throwing a figure out there, it was $45,000, which we, we didn't have. We would have had to borrow it and raise taxes. That was a sore issue in those days, raising taxes. I mean, we didn't have money to buy a fire truck. Judy Eisner did a great job getting us to go to I don't know how many chicken dinners at Rice Farm to raise the money for this. Yeah, that was a big, she would pack the place. Fortunately, we had just wrapped up um, an agreement with American National Power for a pilot agreement that the town had been working on a number of years. And I was here when that was wrapping up and that provided uh, the necessary funding that we could move ahead with this project without a Prop 2 and a half debt exclusion. Um, so um, it was, really was an opportunity for the town to take a big step forward in providing a, a new library, 
um, which has really been a gem in the community the last 20 years. I, uh, I had some knowledge of the industry and I felt as though maybe it could be put to, to use uh, in helping along with this. And uh, so I, I kind of like volunteered to, to get on this and uh, it was a thoroughly enjoyable experience uh, and it's one I'm very proud of. So it was very exciting to have a library that was bigger and that you could talk to other parents and kind of network and meet other people from in town. It was kind of the only game in town at the time, so. The first place I came to in town um, when I first moved in was the library, and it was before um, I had had children, and I used resources myself, and then as soon as I had children, we participated in story time. Um, we participated in arts and crafts. We did the summer reading program every year. Um, I've watched my children grow up through the children's program into the teen program. So we really, um, you know, it's, it's become part of our family and we, um, we enjoy everything we do here. Many things go into making our library so successful. The staff and volunteers supported by the Board of Trustees, the money raising efforts of the Friends of the Library, the grants from the local cultural council, the donations from patrons and local businesses, the goodwill of the community, our many loyal patrons with a library card. Um, so 20 years, you know, I started here as a fresh faced 24 year old and uh, I'm 45 now. So. It's unbelievable, the years have flown by, um, but it has been the most incredible ride of my life. And uh, I'm just gonna keep riding as long as they let me. Um, I have a marvelous time working with these children day in and day out. Um, I get to come to work every day and read stories and make crafts and color and play and dance and it is truly the most marvelous job on the planet um, and I've been given a gift to be able to work with these kids every day. I think it's just my happy place. It's always been my happy place um, and so like I've always had like pretty strenuous day jobs like and um, this was sort of like my place to just come and like decompress, even though it was busy and always going, but it was like, there was not the stress that went along with my day jobs. So, um, so it was always a really happy place and the patrons are just so wonderful. Like I love working with people and the happy people and the staff here. I mean, I've gone, like clearly 19, I've had a lot of different staff members that I've become friends with and directors, many directors that I've worked under. And um, it's just always been a really joyous, happy place to be. Hi, I'm Ellen Goodrow. I started here at the Blackstone Library as a library aide in September of 2007. My motto then and my motto now is, when it stops being fun, I'm done. And now 17 years later, I am head of circulation here at the library, and it's still fun. The first day they opened here, and I was here for the open house when they opened it up. I've been here since. My favorite part of the library is the community feeling that we have here. Um, there's always something going on. There's always kids running around. Um, it's just a very good feel because there's, there's so much involved with the community. It is a community place. Um, the programs that they now have um, over the last five, six, seven years have really been enriching and um, many people come to them and many of those programs wouldn't happen without the friends because we finance um, about five thousand dollars a year in programming for the library um, and this has been um, one of my passions in my retirement is is raising money for the library Hi, my name's Mandy and I'm the Young Adult Librarian and I just want to wish the Blackstone Library a happy 20th anniversary. Hi, I'm Lisa Lastoria. I'm a library aide here and I just want to say happy anniversary, happy 20th anniversary to the Blackstone Library. 
Happy 20th anniversary, Blackstone Public Library from Adult Services Librarian Renee Milliken. I'm Tanya Pollock, one of your friendly neighborhood selectmen, here to congratulate the library on its 20 year anniversary. It's a beautiful building, um, but what makes it really special is the people inside, obviously. We have a really good crew here, um, and they really do a lot, and uh, it's, you know, they do really do a lot for the community. It's good to see. Hi, I'm Chad Lovett, Town Administrator. Wanted to wish the library congratulations on 20 years. The building committee did great work, and this building is an asset to the community. Congratulations on your 20th. Hopefully there'll be 20 more. It's a great building, great location, and great staff. Happy, Happy 20th anniversary, anniversary Blackstone Library. Library from the Knitting Club. Hey everyone, this is State Senator Ryan Satman. I'm just leaving the Massachusetts State Library. Wanted to wish you a happy 20th anniversary in the town of Blackstone uh, for your anniversary of your wonderful facility. Had the opportunity to be there many times, whether it be for office hours or kids programming with my four children. Uh, and also your community day is outstanding. There's so many wonderful people that come out. It's always great to see them and see the kids come through with their passports and uh, love saying hello. I have a special place in my heart for libraries. As some of you know, my mother-in-law is a librarian, so it will always be very important to me uh, when I'm up here at Beacon Hill, but wanted to say congratulations and happy 20th anniversary. Hi, this is State Representative Mike Soder, and I'm happy to be here in Blackstone at the Blackstone Public Library, celebrating 20 years. This beautiful building, this beautiful gem that is here in the center of Blackstone is something to be celebrated. Everybody in the community should be happy and celebrate this great opportunity to look at this awesome building and come in and reminisce about 20 years ago when you were first starting this project. You have created one of the best kept secrets in my district, but also throughout the Blackstone Valley. I am so thankful to the entire staff the people of Blackstone for making this a possibility. Happy anniversary, and I look forward to celebrating with you in June. So I really want to just bring greetings to the people of Blackstone for such an amazing library that you have here. More than 20 years, I can't imagine how many countless children and adults and seniors have come through your doors to receive library services. And you know, as I do, that libraries are essential to our country and to our freedom. And every day you change lives. It is so refreshing to come into a space where the entire community has come together today to celebrate the public library. Libraries are more than just books and, and, and they've become just incredible collecting centers of ideas. And tonight, I gotta tell you, my high point were the baby goats. It was incredible to see little baby goats running around in here. But more than that, it was really incredible to meet all the people here in Blackstone who are celebrating this wonderful public library. Congratulations on your 20th anniversary for this building. And I hope that we get to get together in 20 more years and celebrate again. Thank you. I am so pleased to be here at the Blackstone Public Library this evening. You have an amazing community and the support and the heart of you in the community absolutely shows. Congratulations on a wonderful anniversary. I believe that communities can be understood by their public libraries. We fund our priorities and you chose to fund this beautiful library. And so what that says is that you believe in your people. You believe in supporting entrepreneurs and job seekers. You are looking out for your marginalized and underserved people. I think that that is beautiful. And I just want to congratulate you on 20 wonderful years. And here's to another 20 years. I look forward to it with great anticipation. Well done. Good afternoon and welcome to the best new library in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. You could charge me with being somewhat biased, but my response to that is once you have a tour of this building, you will soon agree with me of that I am sure. The opening of this library is the result of the efforts of many people in the town of Blackstone as well as throughout the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. It has been a long time coming, but as we stand here today and look at the end result, we know that the wait was worth it. I extend a very big thank you to the citizens of the town of Blackstone.